How do you go about immunising the world's 7.7 billion people? Manufacturing plants all over the world, like this one in India, are already starting to make hundreds of millions of doses of some of the most promising candidates. Once you've bottled the vaccines, you then need to get them out into communities. This vaccine may need to be frozen, and this is a big challenge in different countries. Second challenge is how to locate the elderly. We need to vaccinate them. The third challenge is 2 billion doses will be delivered to countries. What do we do with the use syringes? So the logistics are sorted, the vaccine is ready to go. Who will get it first? No one is safe until everyone is safe. We know that demand for a successful vaccine will far outstrip supply in the initial months. So three of the big global health and vaccine organisations have come up with a new system called COVAX. It aims to ensure everyone anywhere in the world who needs the vaccine most gets access to it first. It wants to procure 2 billion doses to protect at least 1 billion people in the next year. First health workers and then the over 65s will be prioritised. Most rich countries are still making side deals directly with pharmaceuticals though. The UK, for example, has signed up for more than 300 million doses of six different vaccines. The US hopes to get 300 million doses of various vaccines by January. But remember, all of this is a bit of a gamble. The World Health Organization says any vaccine for COVID-19 must be at least 50% effective. And we are going to need more than one. We simply don't know yet how much protection these other vaccines could give or how long any protection will last.